Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, don't laugh at my head. Okay, I'm having a bad hair day. Plus, I've been running around. So, I just want to pop on and do a really quick video for y'all. Okay, single ladies, single ladies. It's about to be Valentine's Day. Do not get desperate about now, okay? You don't need a Valentine's Day date to validate you, okay? Do not start getting desperate now. Don't start taking people's crap. Okay, everybody knows it's close to Valentine's Day and women are desperate. Do not fall for the okie doke. Okay, stay strong. Do not give in. I don't care if you're feeling lonely. Don't stoop to the level that you would not stoop to. Do not lower your standards. Instead, use Valentine's Day or this time to manifest, make lists about, you know, the type of man you do want. Okay, it's a very good time of year to do that because everybody's so focused on love. You know what you're missing. You know what you want. You know, you just don't have it yet. Write it down. Um, you know, take yourself to a spa day. Go get your nails done. Do something for yourself. Do not, do not get desperate right about now. Okay, I know a lot of women are clamoring and getting desperate because they feel like they need a date for Valentine's Day. But half the people who have men are not even going to go on a date for Valentine's Day. They're just going to stay home and watch TV. Okay, so don't feel like you're being left out of anything because you're not. Believe me, you're not. I know you are going to be clicking on YouTube. Oh, get ready for me, Valentine's Day, blah, blah, blah. Have them people don't even have a boyfriend or plus, you know, their boyfriend or their husband is not going to take them to these extravagant places where they actually get to wear these outfits and all these makeup looks. That's just for YouTube. Okay, so y'all don't get hype, you know, get caught up in the hype. And stuff like that and get desperate and lower your standards and end up you know somewhere you don't want to be next year because of valentine's day don't let it get to you um <laughs> throw a party invite all your friends over who are single do something i don't i know i've done this type of video before but like i said please don't get caught up in it because i know a lot of women have been writing me lately asking me about men and love reading since this man cheating on me if you have to ask me if your man is cheating on you if he's hiding something the answer is probably most likely yes because you it's putting doubt in your mind and when a man puts doubts and questions in your mind that's a red flag and a sign okay so don't get caught up don't get desperate stand your ground men and Valentine's Day, they don't really care about that holiday. That's more of a woman's holiday, okay? They they're gonna exploit you to the fullest if they can. So don't 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 fall for it, okay? I remember um, one year when I was single, y'all. This guy he waited till the day before Valentine's Day to say, "Oh, do you want to go out? Do you want to be my Valentine?" I'm like, "Oh no, I'm sorry. I just you know you're gonna ask me the day." right before valentine's day if i want to be your valentine i said what happened somebody else told you no i'm like no you should have asked me like a couple of weeks ago so i could make plans get an outfit do this do that do that no i was like no i've already made plans click even though i didn't have plans i was not gonna go out with him because that was like um a low standard move on a woman's part to go out with someone at the last minute that means you are the backup plan and oh she said no so i'm gonna go out with her okay and they think you know sex is guaranteed or something on valentine's day if you bring if they bring you some chocolate and a cheap uh carnation or something no mm -mm. and ladies who are in relationships for valentine's day don't expect an engagement rings okay unless y'all been together for a while and you kind of know that's coming don't expect these diamond earrings like you see on tv don't expect all of that unless that's what you specifically asked for and you know you're getting it be happy with whatever the fool gives you i, I call him a fool <laughs> be be happy with whatever that man gives you because men do not get into valentine's day okay birthdays yes christmas yes stuff like that yes but valentine's day you know they're gonna get you something cute nice affordable you know it's right after the holidays that they've spent all this money and you know now they say oh man I gotta buy something that's not too cheap but I don't want her to be mad at me and I don't want to think I don't want her to think that this relationship is going to the next level if I buy expensive jewelry so how do I what do I do so if they buy you something cheap don't get mad just like oh thank you so much just kind of make a little sly remarks like oh thank you so much this will go so cute with um, some outfit and it's like oh yeah I'll wear this one day don't don't go overreacting say oh I love it because you know then they're gonna think that's good enough for you and they're gonna be like okay well next time I don't have to you know get get anything too grand because she likes this cheap stuff so no you just like oh this is gonna go so cute with my uh 
my outfit or my shoes that I just bought at Target. Don't don't give him credit if he didn't do good, y'all. But still compliment him. <laughs> okay, do not give him credit if he didn't do good. Um, like I remember one year my husband bought me something. I don't know. I think it was for Valentine's Day or Christmas. I can't remember. It was before we were married. And he gave me some crap that I would not even buy myself. I was like, this is cheap. And um, I took it. I said, oh, this is cute. Thank you. And I put it away. And I never wore it. And one day he like opened the box and said, how come you never wore this? How come you never wore this? I was like, because it's not really my style. It's too small. It's, I would never wear this. This is for like a little kid. And it was like just some little earrings, like sapphire earrings and like a little necklace that I have the pendant that you can hardly see. I get a magnifying glass. I'm like, this is like something I had as a child. I was like, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a grown woman. I need like grown woman jewelry. <laughs> and so he was like, oh, okay. And then like, I never wore it. And he got mad one day and we were arguing. And he was like, oh, well, you don't even appreciate anything I do for you. I gave you jewelry, you never even wore it. Y'all, I was mad because we weren't even married at this point. I was just like, this is why I say you have to stand your ground. I was like, you know what? I don't wear this cheap stuff. I was like, this is what your other girlfriends are used to, but I'm not used to this stuff. This stuff I can buy for myself. I was like, I don't want this. I said, take it back, give it to somebody else who will appreciate it. I don't want this. I was really, I was really bad back then, y'all. <laughs> I was really bad. I kind of feel bad for that, but that's because my standards were so high. If I would have accepted that, I would have had to like hide it because I would have been embarrassed to wear it, you know. So the next holiday rolls around and guess what? He went to Jared. Okay, yes, he went to Jared. And I had some nice jewelry after I let him know that I can't rock that. I'm, I'm too good for that. Okay, so don't don't overreact if the gift sucks, y'all. Say thank you, put it away, don't use it. And when he notices you're not using it and the conversation comes up, it's like, oh, you know what? You know, that's not really my style. It's not my taste. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I like a more sophisticated jewelry or I like a more, you know, noticeable jewelry. Or this is something I wore as a kid. Um, like if you're cool enough to talk to him like that, you know. But sometimes you got to let people know what you like because a lot of women, they, they feel like they feel validated through gifts and how well their men knows them and how well they know their taste. And if they keep buying them cheap stuff, and this is what you're worth. This is their, they're telling you, this is what you're worth, this cheap piece of jewelry. And when you say no and you say no, I don't know, they're gonna have to up their game, okay? So happy Valentine's uh, month, y'all. Don't get depressed. You know, next year you're gonna have a man if you, you know, follow certain protocol and don't get desperate, y'all. And I'll see y'all later.